Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to make a volcano that actually erupts. So, first, when I run the script, it seems like nothing happens, but when you're close or standing on the ground, it actually starts shaking using the cave in feature. But I think I seeded it a little bit towards the middle, but it should be shaking. But anyway, it shoots out fire particles, lava actually starts flowing. The particles were donated by the sneaky sort. Um, these are from his volcano on the title screen. And I modified them a little bit to fit mine because this volcano is a little bit wider than his. But anyway, it, sh it shoots out the lava, then it shoots out little uh, rocks and little fireballs. Shoots some smoke, lava shoots out, and then um, after a little bit, the lava disappears as if it was drying. And inside here, I've actually got each particle block labeled. The reason why I have them labeled is because I'm going to be using definite XYZ coordinates for each block. And your coordinates aren't going to be the same as mine. So this one is for the smoke. Um, inside here's the settings that I'm using that Sneaky set and I modified. And um, depending on the size of your volcano, if it's wider or smaller, you're going to want to change these numbers to fit that. You're going to want the variance for the emit position to be wider. Um, not by much, but by some, if your volcano is larger because it's got to spread the smoke out. The velocity is the speed and the variance for the smoke. I kind of kept it how he had it. I changed the size a bit. And then here's the embers. There's about three or four kinds of different embers. So those are kind of like the medium size that are fly firing out really fast. Then we've got some smaller ones. Then we've got the same as the first ember except for there's a little bit less and they're flying a bit different. Then here's the same thing except for it's black as it's like to simulate rocks. Then we've got that large blaze that started in the beginning. So there's those settings. Um, you can also pause if you need to copy the settings. And then I have the sound for boiling water to simulate lava. Of course, you could just grip the sound in, but I had the sound block here because it was kind of like the perfect area to mark all my sounds in this one block here. But anyway, let's get into that script and show you how it works. It's I have it set to 80 lines, but it's not going to be that long for you. And then the alias, it doesn't matter unless you're calling it for another script. I named it Eruption. This first part right here is not really necessary. I just have it for testing purposes because the sounds go on after the particles are gone. So this turns off all sounds, it turns off all particles and stuff before the eruption actually starts. So that stuff's not mandatory. So when we get down to here, this is the actual eruption. First thing I do is I make a cave-in near the bottom of the center of the volcano, just to where the cave-in can be felt for other players, like when they're walking around it or wherever they're going to be. And I have that set at 345. Well, you don't even need the coordinates for it. But then I wait 10 seconds to give it time to build up the shaking. Then I send the thunder sound, and I have it set um, 100 for the percent volume, so it's the loudest it can be. And I have 200 radius, so it can be heard from pretty far around. Then I wait half a second, and then I turn on the blaze particle, um, which I'm just sending power to the particle block where your blaze is. So you don't have to have all your particle blocks set up in this order that I have them, but you just got to remember where the coordinates are, and I label them to help me figure out where I need to put them. So this is the coordinates for the blaze one, and I'm setting the power to that particle block on. Then I wait one and a fourth of a second, then I delete the thunder sound, then I set block lava. That What that does is it... Um, it turns this dacite block into lava, so it's like if I broke it, where the lava starts pouring out. And then I also have another one that's set down here somewhere. Um, so Just so it looks like it's pouring through the mountain. But anyway, we set the block lava, then I commit to make sure the graphics refresh and the lava actually does come out, because sometimes lag can, get, can make it so it doesn't work. Then I wait a fourth of a second, just a little bit, then I actually spawn in the debris and the embers and stuff. That's all the little flying red particles and the rocks. So I turn all of those on so they're firing off. Then I wait half a second, then turn on the smoke. Then after five seconds, I spawn that lava that was down lower that I showed you. Then I commit again because I'm updating the blocks in the world, so I want to refresh the graphics. After the commit, I'm waiting two more seconds. Then I turn on the magma sound block, which 
it just plays the boiling water sound, so it sounds like um, the lava's coming down, and you can actually hear it. Then I set power, well, I'm setting power to that magma block right here. Then I wait a fourth of a second, then I'm setting a sound of fire to kind of simulate the sound of the rocks, like the particles of the embers and stuff hitting the ground, because the fire, it can be, depending on how you're thinking of it, it can be set to sound like anything. Like, I have one script that I use half a second of the fire and it sounds like you're reloading. But, in this case, I'm using it to sound like rocks are hitting the ground. Then I turn off the blaze, um, the same coordinates as where the blaze was. Wait three seconds, delete that fire sound. Then I turn off half of the debris and the embers. These ones are the little fi the bigger fire ones. Then I wait just just a tiny bit, and then I spawn another fire sound, um, just to simulate more is falling. Because maybe it's exploded once and then exploded again, so it shoots out a little bit more. Then I wait eight seconds, turn off the fire again. You can experiment with the sounds and stuff and the times to make sure it lines up with your volcano. Um, then I set the power for the rest of the embers off. Then I wait 17 seconds, and then I. I uh, get rid of the lava where it's flowing out and I put it to dacite. So there will still be lava. I don't replace the whole area. I just block off where it's pouring out so it kind of stops and as it refreshes itself uh, the lava will stop flowing and it'll look like it's done flowing and drying out. And then I do the commit again. And then I turn off the smoke, wait 15 seconds, then I turn off the other lava because since it's lower down I had to wait for the lava to connect um, for this top lava to dry out. So as it goes down, it catches up with the other one, and that turns off. Then I commit again, wait 25 seconds. Then I turn off the magma, and then I just wait a thousand and commit at the end just to make sure everything has been refreshed. So that is how to make an erupting volcano. And you can add a little bit of an effect to your mountains. I just use the system components and replace some of the blocks. Yeah, you know, red, black, dark red, up near the top where the lava would be, where the rocks would be hot. And then I just kind of blend it as I went down, so it kind of blends in with the clay down here. And as you see, it pours down. You have to, if you're going to have it pour down like this, you have to do trial and error. It took me maybe 10 minutes to make sure that the whole thing flowed down. Because as I turned it on, maybe it would stop here, so I had to break a few blocks. And then it would pour down and stop. And I had to break more and more. And then I had to turn it off and turn it on try it again. And just after a few tries of trial and error, you'll get it right. But anyway, thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed this and you're going to be able to make it. Um, if you have more natural disasters or terrain script ideas or effects like an aurora or a solar eclipse or something, leave it in the comments and I'll see what I can do with that. I've been looking for more ideas, but as I come up with them, I make them, and then I run out of ideas. So if you guys could suggest any ideas you've got, I can help you make them, and that would really help me be able to make more videos for you guys. So thank you for watching.